Fields are diverse, as finance, science, and politics all rely heavily on interpreting large amounts of numerical data. This can be challenging for many people, so tables and graphs are used to present the data in a way that's easy to understand. Hey everyone, I'm Kyla from Vengage. In today's video, I'm going to talk about tables and charts and when to use each one. Before we begin, I quickly want to talk about the wide array of table and chart templates that Vengage provides. These templates are super easy to customize and can be downloaded in any format you like. And not only tables and charts, Vengage also provides templates for all of your graphic needs. Now, let's get back to understanding tables and charts. Here, we're showing a table. This is from the financial services industry. And you can see just by looking at the table that we're looking at enrollment in auto pay over time. The same information can be presented in a graph like this. Notice how much faster you can see the data in a chart versus a table. Now, you might be wondering, well, why would I ever put data into a table over a graph? Well, there are reasons to choose a table over a graph. The first reason is when your audience needs to look up specific values. Let's say it's the home equity line of credit. That's gonna be the most interesting to your audience. Maybe they need to know it's exactly 6% in 2020 compared to 13, 48, or 65. That can be a reason to use a table because your audience needs that level of detail. Another reason might be you have mixed audiences. Let's say it's not just the home equity line of credit, but also the credit card or perhaps the overall lines that your audiences need to see as important as the other one. Another reason to use a table would be you have multiple units of measure that you need to get across. Let's say it's the percent enrolled, which we're currently showing, but it's also the number of accounts or perhaps the dollar opportunity associated with each. A table can be a nice way to provide all of these metrics in a smaller space. Another great place for tables is in the appendix. This is where you can pack as much detail as the audience might need or anticipate needing so that information is there for reference, but it's not impacting your main message. On the other hand, if you choose a graph to show the data, you can tell which bars are the highest, which are smaller, and how different they are from each other. This is a reason to choose a graph over a table if we want to get that information across much more quickly to our audience. So that covers the differences between tables and graphs. I hope you've learned something from this video. Don't forget to use Vengage for free. Make sure to follow us on social media and I'll see you in the next one.